everyone welcome to a clean house with muddy boots and today we are doing another how to how to clean your kitchen drains and faucets now my drains get really bad as you can see here they just get caked on with all sorts of grime oh it's gross once my drain starts smelling a bit i don't know sometimes you just get that whiff and you're like oh i need to do something about that so we are going to tackle them today first thing i'm going to do is i'm filling up a tupperware with half water half vinegar vinegar is going to be your best friend in this task i'm now also using a monkey wrench to take off the faucet you just want to be careful that you're not going to scratch the finish um, because you can do that as you're moving it off and then when you take it off there's also going to be a rubber ring just make sure that that doesn't fall down the drain i almost had that happen to me once not fun so we're just going to take that out here i am putting the vinegar in and then i'm going to let everything soak for about 45 minutes i'm also going to add a couple drops of dawn dish soap and well i feel like i add dawn to everything So this was after about 45 minutes maybe almost an hour and you can see there are still some stuff caked on but trust me the vinegar has loosened it up and it's going to be a lot easier to scrub off i'm going to take them into the sink and i'm just going to start scrubbing just with a sponge and then i also bring out a wire brush here just to get those hard to reach little crevices And here are the finished products. They look a lot better than what they did. And guys, the goal is never perfection. Trust me, these drains are gonna get dirty again super fast. If I was going for perfection, I would spend a lot more time on these. And then you know what? It would just be more frustrating if they got dirty again really fast. The goal is to get as much off as possible, but you'll see one of these faucets, like there's some stuff still on there, but from what it looked like before, huge difference. So yes, the goal is never perfection. Cleaning is something that's always gonna need to be done. If you spend way too much time trying to perfect a task, you're gonna be really disappointed when it's dirty again like the next day. I'm now moving on to our drains. I'm using baking soda. I'm just going to pour it into the drains, pack it in, let it sit for a bit, and I'm going to boil some vinegar in a kettle and I'm gonna pour that down the drain. Here's also a multitasking tip. If you have a kettle that has hard water stains in it that needs to be cleaned out, boiling vinegar in it will definitely clean all of that out. So you could get two tasks done in one. Usually whenever my kettle needs to be cleaned out from the hard water, I plan to clean my drains at the same time just to reuse the vinegar. I mean, I boiled it anyway in the kettle, why not use it for du dual purposes? After you pour the vinegar down, you wanna make sure that you thoroughly rinse out by pouring water down. Um, so I make sure that I do that. 
And then to finish off, I'm going to give my sink a good scrub down. All I use to scrub out my sink is Dawn Power Wash and a sponge. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope this video was helpful to you in any way. Um, I really enjoy making these how-tos. I like that they're really little quick videos that everyone can kind of just reference. Um, if you have any areas in your home that you would like me to tackle in future how-to videos, please drop me a comment down below. And until next time, bye!